With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over an edge and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler Edge Action menu. Locate the Scale Action. With the Scale Action selected, you'll see a series of targets down below. To start off, let's select the Edge Target. With the Edge Target selected, if you simply hover over an edge and click and drag, it'll scale that edge. So you come through and start scaling different areas on your model. Another thing that's nice with this actual scale action is that it also works with the repeat last functionality. So after I have a scale kind of set that I like, I can return to another area of my model and simply click and that scale will be applied again. Now undoing these quick. Now hovering over an edge again and returning back into the Zmodeler edge action menu. We have a few more targets down here. So we have the edge loop complete target. So now if we turn to our mesh and click on this edge here, ZBrush is going to look at this entire edge loop and apply that scaling effect. Holding spacebar again, we have an option of edge loop partial, which is going to look at the actual edge loop until it comes to an extraordinary point, or a point that is not connected by four edges. We also have the target of poly loop. With poly loop selected, if we turn our model and click on an edge that is part of a poly loop, it'll scale the poly loop like so. Using these different scale targets, you can come through and start scaling different areas of your model and then use other Zmodeler actions to further deform your actual mesh.